Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're going to look at an aftermarket accessory for your gun today. We have some uh, some custom products or CP regulators. These are the V2 regs. Um, now, a lot of guns these days don't necessarily require an aftermarket regulator. They come with a, uh, really decent regulators on them already or built into them. And a lot of uh, today's higher end guns, you can't switch a regulator on them. Uh, certain regulators are built into the frame or they're proprietary threaded on the front so you can't take them apart or they're recessed into the gun and they don't come out. So um, these regs aren't going to work for that, but there's a slew of guns, older versions, uh, people that are trying to rebuild guns um, that require a regulator and they didn't either come with it or the one that came with it is just garbage because that happens a lot. If that's the case, CP regs are probably one of the best just standalone regs that are on the market. They are crazy reliable, they're easy to rebuild, and they come in a, a good look and with a lot of colors. So uh, I got some out here, uh, a dust black, dust blue, polished red, polished green, and a dust purple. That's just a small sample of the colors that we do have. Nice thing about a CP reg though, is that this little pamphlet that they, they give with you has a complete breakdown of the regulator and all the parts that are in it, how the spring stack goes, what the O-ring sizes are, how it goes together. So when it comes time to maintenance the regulator, which needs to be done on all regulators at one time or another, it makes it super simple. Uh, the reg itself, the input port is gonna be at the bottom. So you've always got it coming in through here. It does not have a side port on it anywhere. So you're either gonna run a straight macro fitting or a 90 degree macro fitting into it. It's obviously gonna exit out through the top. Uh, your adjustment screws on the side. So by going clockwise or screwing the screw into the regulator, you're going to decrease pressure, which will decrease output pressure through the regulator, which assumptively will make the velocity go down on whatever marker you're running, but it might have a different effect on there. I don't know. Uh, and then by backing the screw out or going counterclockwise, increasing output pressure, increasing velocity. It's kind of the correlation between the two right there. Um, the breakdown on them is simple. This one probably I'm not gonna be able to get apart because it is new out of the box, but it does just thread apart bottom from top. You get inside of it, and as you can see, the pieces are just right there. Your spring stack, your piston, and your adjustment all in one spot, making it super simple. Uh, so if you are ever in the need for a regulator and you're wondering, well, man, what do I need for my gun? I have an old reg or I have an, uh, one that doesn't work and I can't get it fixed definitely check out CP regs. I've used them for a long, long time. They work great. I've, I don't think I've ever had one fail. I've had to rebuild them because every once in a while you just need to or grease them up, but I've never had one go bad on me. Um, so definitely, I recommend it. Check it out. CP V2 regs available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.